Hello everyone, Sarcasm here, and it's time for another Snack React. So, I had to switch up the schedule a bit because I had another Uwajimaya trip. Yeah, so the Winco and the Popcorn Cove Kit Kat selection will have to be pushed back because a few of the items I have are, um... Okay, they're bakery items, so I have to eat, eat them rather quickly. Or at least within the next couple days. So yeah, so um, actually, let's see, you know, I had eight drinks and five food items. So the, the two bread items I'll be having with one drink each, and the other ones will be one snack, two drinks, I think. Or something like that. Uh, I'll, I'll work out the math later. Yeah, yeah one, one snack, two drinks. So those will be like um, multi-day recording bits. Anyway, uh, first off from Oyatsu Pan Bakeries, bake, uh, Oyatsu Pan Bakers, it's a anpan or a red bean paste bun. I haven't actually, I haven't actually had the, this one before. I've had, some, uh, I forget which one it was, but it was like a, uh, it was made by a different group. I had different packaging. But like, yeah, I've mentioned it before, I do love myself a nice red bean paste bun. Or bread or whatever. So I just need to get this open. Unfortunately, they didn't have any uh, new Kit Kats. But, uh, or Pepsis actually. But I did pick up some new Kit Kats at, the, at Popcorn Cove, because they have an assortment of Japanese Kit Kat flavors. Apologize for how long this is taking. It's been a bit difficult. But yeah, looks good. Has, uh, I guess, sesame seeds on top. Sp smells nice and, well, bready. <laughs> and yeah, so, um, yeah. And right off the bat, I'm getting a very nice red bean paste flavor. Because, look, they fill this thing with red bean paste. <laughs> like, it's not one of those ones where it's like, oh, you have like a little bit of filling, but it's mostly bread. This is like, a, I want to say like a good fourth of it is red bean paste. Yeah, the flavors blend very nicely. The uh, sesame seeds, I, I believe, are actually also adding a little bit of their flavor to it. But the red bean paste itself, that flavor stays strong. So it's like it doesn't get overpowered by anything else. But it also isn't overpowering everything. It also isn't overpowering the other flavors either. Like, you can still taste the bread and the sesame seeds. But yeah, the red bean paste definitely stands out. I'll finish that after this episode. And next up, I don't think I've reviewed this one before. Don't quote me on that. I mean, I did look through the old videos. Like, uh, I skimmed through them. So I don't think I've had this, or at least I haven't reviewed it. I'm pretty sure I've had this flavor, but it's been years, so I don't really remember it. But yeah, it is the Assam Chocolate Milk Tea. Like, you, you know me, I, I love milk tea. I'm just giving a good shake. So yeah, in other news, I've uh, been doing some game streams. And hopefully I can get those streams edited and uploaded up to onto YouTube in smaller 20, 25 minute bite size episodes. <sighs> okay. Ooh, very strong chocolate smell. 
you know, that's, you know, water, sugar, milk powder, some black tea, cocoa powder, natural flavor. Yeah, that's definitely a cocoa powder smell. Not like the standard, well, maybe the standard chocolate, but anyway. Okay, so it's, it has it has like your usual standard creamy texture of milk tea. The chocolate flavor. I said what on the light side. You still get like the nice milk tea flavor, but it has like under like it has like light chocolate undertones. Like you can, you can taste the chocolate, but it's like. Much like with the red bean paste, it doesn't overpower everything else. You, you can still taste like all the different components. Very pleasant. Nice and refreshing, especially for a hot day like today. And uh, yeah, I, I like it. So. The two items down. Let's tie it. Nah, that's time for the rate. It's time for the ratings. So for the red bean paste button, I'm giving that. Hmm, an eight out of ten. I, I like it. And uh, I, I think it actually. OK, I'm not sure what, how I rated the other red. Did I do another red bean paste bun? If I did, but. Um, I don't know if I rated that higher, but uh, personally, I think this one's better. This one's better because the other brand, um, it, it's very fluffy and the bread kind of overpowers a lot of it. Whereas this is like smaller, more compact. So there is there isn't as much bread to get in the way. For the chocolate milk tea. Nine out, of, nine out of ten. Again, it, it's probably because it's a milk tea, but like I, I just like the smooth texture and the creaminess, and it's just like it, it just tastes good. Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, it, it's funny. I've actually been uh, I've been recording as much. Because like I, I had like several months backlog of videos as of recording this, so it's like oh yeah I could take it easy for a bit. Also I'm trying to lose weight so I'm watching what I eat, but uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway yeah like I said thanks for watching I hope you all enjoy and I will see you all next time. See you later.